then we start to lose the ink from the ink, dam ink tank to the ink damper. So first we hold the ink damper by this way. By this way, we cannot hold by this way. If we hold by this way, we, if we touch the film here, the ink will flush out to get printer damage and dirty. So we must hold the ink damper by this way, the left and right side, and toward to the sky, and we connect the brand new, the brand new injection. And we load the ink out from the ink damper, from, from the ink tank to the ink damper. And please remember, each different color, we must use one new injection. And we feel about five to 10 milliliter out that we install back to the print head. And also we hold the damper by this way, not touch the left and right side. And we, then we connect to the print head port and push to, to the down button, to the down side, not shaking and fast and wheel. We install, we load the ink from the ink damper, ink tank to the ink damper, the same way to for the next uh, color. The color from left to right for the damper is black, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and then let cyan, let magenta. K-C-M-Y-L-C-I-M, from left to right. And also, if you follow the white ink, we must uh, keep ink damper clean and empty first. We install the damper to the print head first. Then we pop on the machine and we do the loads ink process later. Then we first, uh, then we start to load the white ink at front. The white ink, we just uh, first uh, lock. We just lock first. Later, we need to pull one by one. But we must install back first. Okay, now after we load the color ink to the color ink damper, then we need to load the white ink to the white ink damper. The white ink, we have the secretion, the secretion sub ink tank, the, sub, the secretion white ink pump at the back side. So if we want to load the white ink to the white ink damper, we must pop on the machine and open the secretion switch, then make the white ink secretion to this sub ink tank. So we need to pop on the machine to do this procedure. Before we pop on the machine, we must be sure there's nothing stay at the surface of the table to prevent it scratch the print head. And for safety, we can move in down this knob to move, to make the cup station moving down. And then we can push back the carriage, move it from left to right and to right, from right to left. And double check, there's nothing scratch the print head. The film and the film pinch pieces metal, both at both sides, we also not scratch the print head to, to block the carriage moving. After we be sure everything is working well, it's not them, it's not blocked movement, then we can go to the back side of the machine, we can power on the machine. Then the machine starts to do the self test. The one you find is working. The can the car, the cap station starts moving down and the catch back to home position. Then the cap station moving up. Once we sure the we see the screen, cut screen show idle, that means the machine is ready. 
then we can start to load the wire into the inductor. Before we load the wire into the inductor, we must close the switch. For each inductor, for safety, because if we load the wire, it starts to pump the ink. The ink will flush to the inductor immediately. So for safety, we clean we close all of them. Then the ink will not go to the ink damper right now. We can choose close. Then we go to the back side of the machine. Then we open the wet ink secretion switch. The pump is working. And the ink pump to the field. Big field. The speed cannot too too big. Like this, it's okay. When the fierce the ink is full, then we go to the sub ink tank. The first time we can be bigger, so we can see the ink. Let's go to. The palm. Then go to the sub in time at the front. Then go back to the go back to the in the bottle here. So this the separation. Must be sure the sub ink tank is full. Then we adjust the speed a little bit more. And then we go to load the ink from the ink tanker. We take, take out the ink damper one by one and load it. First, we must open the switch. Then we load it. You can see the white ink. Coming out. Then we put back. Please remember again, we cannot hold the damper by this way. If we touch this film, the ink will flush out to damage the printer. So we hold the double set like this. Then we install back to the print, print head. Then we load another ink damper. And also we must uh, open the switch first. And hold the damper back this way. Up to the sky.
Let's open the switch first. Then we must be sure all the switch is open. Open the switch for using. Close the switch for do the maintenance job. Keep weight job and the first time you load the ink must click off. Open for using. Please remember that. If you not open this, you close this switch, the ink will not go to the damper and not go to print hand. When you print, there no ink coming out. So this is the, all the procedure to load the wet ink to the sub ink tank and to the ink wet ink damper. Later we need to load the ink from the damper to the printing head. Thank you.